Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review in World of Tanks gameplay. Today I'm going to cover Hopfish IPA by Flying Fish Brewing Company. This is an English style IPA that hits at 6.2% ABV. The aroma is earthy hop aromas with mild toast and caramel scents. The appearance is a mix of gold and copper with a half finger of bright white head. Our flavor is a big initial hit of bitterness followed by sweet caramel and pear. Mouthfeel, medium to light body with moderate carbonation. Overall, while this has a big hit of bitterness, it's not overwhelming and the flavors mix well and provide a good balance to this English style IPA. I would definitely drink this again. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Paint on steps. This is an encounter battle that I had recently. You can see it's a tier 8 match and I'm in the ever so wonderful tier 6 heavy tank, the KV2, sometimes called the King of Dirt. I want to go up here and see if I can get some shots across and help with the uh, few of these heavy tanks that are probably going to be coming this way and then try to go defend the cap. We're going to see how this goes. See if they get any spots. See if I can put a round into anything. Oh, there's an Emil 1. He looks like he's behind a rock or too low. I'm going to see if I can get a shot into this 112. Leading, shooting, and there it is. 238 damage. I'm obviously spotted, so I'm going to go bye-bye because 20 second reload, uh, you know, let's just stand up and let people shoot at us. Always a good life choice, I'm sure. So while we reload, we're also going to move. Being low tier in this battle isn't horribly off, you know, off the charts considering it is the KV-2. We have the ridiculous 152 millimeter cannon on the front of this thing and shooting HE only will help us to be a little more efficient and useful in this match. Um, they've already got a Cromwell over by the cap and none of our guys are really doing much over there so I'm gonna sneak up and start heading kind of that direction see if I can get a shot into this scorpion and kill him. Um, he backed out though, and I'm spotted. T-34-1 probably spotted me. I gotta get some cover. I'm gonna turn this way. And, ooh, he got tracked. We're gonna stop. We're gonna wait. We're gonna aim. And, oh, that was a good hit. E-25 hits us twice. Gotta love the hit. Oh, that's third one from the E-25. I think we're in cover. Scorpion tried a shot at us. Thankfully missed, because that would have been the end of our game if we had not... Uh... Ooh, G-28 prototype. Coming across in front. Gonna try to help out this Comet. And little hit, 226. But uh, he hasn't killed the Comet yet. The E-25 is putting some good shots in. Gonna try to shoot the E-25 if I can. Um, Comet's almost dead. Oh, Comet's down. I'm going to try to get the side of this T-28. And leading, leading. Nice soft side. Oh, 888 damage. Gotta love them rolls. Too bad it didn't roll just a little closer to average. Almost killed him. That would have been awesome. But, so far, already almost 1,700 damage in. Waiting for a respawn of the E25, who is moving way too fast. This is not going to be a useful shot at all. He's flanking our T150. T28 prototype respotted, though, and we missed completely. I think he went behind a rock. I couldn't tell, really. It's hard to tell without being able to see through these bushes. Still, our team is winning 6 to 3. I'm doing my part, obviously. I've already done more than twice the hit points of my vehicle. Or, well, just about twice the hit points of my vehicle. I'm going to try to hit this Cromwell. Oh, no luck. Just that shell travels so slow, it's really hard. When you're shooting at a full speed, fast vehicle like that at a long range, it's just, it makes it really, really difficult to, to hit those shots. Our team is defending over there pretty well. I'm going to see if I can get this Emil. Slow down. Stop move. Oh, never mind. You're dead. That's all right. We don't want you to be alive anyway. Cromwell spotted. Going to see what we can do. Turret first and aim. Once again, going against our ability to hit. So the Cromwell is trying to push around on the Emil. The Emil is doing a good job of watching him. There we go. Oh, still got about... 
six seconds to load and he's out of our aim area. He looks like he's going to circle around and try to come after us though, which is bad news. He's only on 19 hit points, so all I got to do is splash him, but still, he's fast, he's agile, and I'm going to hold fire because he hit me once. I'm trying to track him, but I haven't gotten a good shot yet. Fortunately, I bounced that one. He derped that one into the side of the hill, and he's running away. I'm going to make sure that I don't fire until I'm absolutely certain. As they say, see the whites of his eyes. And he was close enough. That'll work. And there's our first kill. Only 19 more damage on that one, but... Ooh, T28 prototype. This is not good. He's got a turret. He is aiming towards me. I don't know why he hasn't shot me yet, but he can one-shot me. I've only got a few more seconds for the reload. I'm pre-aimed, and he derped it into the hill. I've got more than enough time. Last 36 damage, which means I did all the damage to that guy. One guy left. That E25, he's on 154 hit points. That's going to be the game here shortly, I'm sure. There it is. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go check out the stats. So here we have it. Second class mastery badge. Almost 20,000 credits earned. Nearly 2,700 damage dealt. Um, and let's go look more closely. So... Of these, I was fourth on damage done in a tier 8 match. I was second on XP earned at, with 898 base XP. I beat out uh, whoever the developer was who got their 840 XP game, so that was kind of nice. Um, I did 1,700 damage. Nine shots fired. Of those, six hit, and all of those that fired did some damage. Um, I did block 270 damage to my vehicle, and... I hit four vehicles and destroyed two. So overall, not a bad game at all. Um, I ended up with almost, like I said, 2,700 XP for this game. It was a really nice game for me. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Can't wait to see you next time.